So it's been about a year since I last made a video about my top picks from one of my favorite brands. Today I'm sharing about Everlane. They've always been one of my top requested brands from you guys. And so today I'm just bringing it back with what I believe to be the signature basics that will be in style forever. So by the word signature, I'm looking for something that has been for sale for at least a couple of years now, and I want each piece to have a classic and timeless style. So in order to do that, I really need to focus in on the cut of the garments and the color. And that will just really future-proof this whole thing so that you could own these pieces forever and for your whole life they will serve a purpose if you can keep them in good condition. So today they are the sponsor of this video and most of these pieces I've owned for quite a few years and they did gift me some extras as well that I specifically asked for. So I'm gonna leave everything linked down in the description box below, and that's just where you can click on the links, see what I'm talking about, and then also you could shop the pieces that I'm sharing, and I will list my own clothing sizes as well, just so that you have that as a reference point. So for this video, I've broken it down into a few sections. First, I wanna talk about the different types of knits that I wanna wear for this time of year. So some of my favorite sweaters, as well as a few layering pieces, things that will really help you to navigate when it gets really cold or else if it starts to warm up where you are. And then I also picked out a few new pieces that I just believe would make anyone's wardrobe feel like it was had a, like a missing puzzle piece before and now it feels like your wardrobe is complete. So I will be touching on some new pieces for that. And it's really difficult if you think about it to find basics because they need to not break the bank, but they need to do the hard work that is coming with something that you need for everyday use. You need pieces in this core skeleton of your wardrobe that is durable. And I can say that I have gone to Everlane for so many years for that reason because it checks off so many of those boxes for me. So let's get on to the pieces. The first signature piece that I wanna share is the Alpaca Crew. I have owned this in so many different colors year in, year out, and I have a few basic colors that I want to share with you today to be the most timeless. I really like this clay color. I also love the almond and the heathered black. I feel like those are the most essential, most signature of the bunch, but I do like to have some of the more seasonal colors uh, mixed in for like springtime and fall and that type of thing. So what's interesting about this and why I keep coming back to it year after year is that it's got a beautiful texture to it. It's not just like plain, it's, it's got this beautiful like ribbing to it. I like that it's got this wide brim oversized uh, crew neckline here. And alpaca, this was my first alpaca piece, not this spe specifically this one, but um, the alpaca crew was my first one and I fell in love with it as a fabric because it's softer than you might expect from other sweaters and it's less itchy and above all it pills less so it takes a really long time for something like this to pill and if you have a sweater comb and you take care of it it's really never going to wear down on you it's only going to get softer with wear when it comes to layering pieces i always look at the pima collection for every season so I do that for this turtleneck. I'm wearing this one currently as the crew neck, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, but I wanna start just with the turtleneck for this time of year because you could put this underneath a button down, um, a sweater. Um, there's just so many things that you could wear it with, or you could wear it on your own if you live in a milder climate. But why I recommend the Pima collection in general is I don't care if I'm talking to someone from, you know, way up north or somebody who's just trying to navigate colder weather for the first time possibly. I feel like they don't understand that there is so much power in wearing thermals and like just layering pieces that are barely there, like you can't see them underneath what you're wearing. And so I like the Pima collection because it has a beautiful like breathable cotton, it's comfortable, it isn't like too constricting because it's got a lot of stretch to it. And you know, it's just barely there. I think that it's a beautiful shirt on its own as well. So I do love it too because it's got just a lovely line down the back and that just adds a little bit of detail there. Um, the turtleneck itself has enough height where sometimes I just wear it upright or else I might wanna like fold it down if I don't wanna be like that dramatic. <laughs> 
Um, but it's just a beautiful shirt. And so I have that in white, I have it striped, and I have it um, in the black as well. Also from the Pima collection, they have a scoop neck tee. So they have uh, tees that are cr like the crew neck as well as the scoop neck. But I like this one because it's just a very flattering neckline if you just want something a little bit different. And then I actually do layer with this if I want to wear you know, some sort of top that just needs to have this shirt not peek out from it. And so I am low key, like layering with pieces this time of year when you would never even know it. And that just keeps me warmer. A lot of times you might see me wearing something and you're like, how are you wearing that in winter? And it's, it's because I know how to layer correctly. And this is sort of one of my secrets. <laughs> As for the crew, of course I have this black one, but I also have a heathered charcoal and I just find that to be incredibly beautiful on its own because of just these little flicks of a lighter color mixed in with this like charcoal sort of like char burned color. It's almost a hint of brown and I really need that for my skin tone. What I love about the crew neck though is that it completely hides underneath sweaters and so if you love a sweater but it's just a little bit itchy then this is going to be the perfect thing that you can hide. The next sweater that I want to share with you today is the cashmere crew. If you were to think of what should be in everybody's closet for this time of year, if you live in a place where you actually need sweaters, then a cashmere crew would be the perfect one because it's got that standard neckline here. And then it also is cashmere, which is just a really high quality and classy thing to wear this time of year. Also, the color of this is beautiful. This is the canvas one. And I have owned the cashmere crews for a while now to where I can tell the subtle differences between them year to year that possibly aren't as obvious if you didn't know. Um, so this was the one that I got um, last year and in years prior they look just like this where it has the thinner neckline around here less material it's a tighter fit last year and um, this is still for sale it's just you know final sale and so this year's upgrades seem to be like it was more of a relaxed fit um, it feels a little bit thicker which is lovely and like I was saying that wider brim here is just really pretty and I love the canvas color, I highly recommend that. But for the cashmere crew, um, I've gotten the ivory, I also have navy and um, this beautiful, I think, it, I think this one was the toasted coconut just off the top of my head um, from what it was last year. But I have that and then I also have the navy and black. I also wanted to throw in the Italian Merino ribbed turtleneck. Um, this is something that is really great for transitional weather, but I personally, in a milder climate, enjoy this one for winter time, um, just to be able to have underneath jackets. It's a thicker material, but it's much more breathable as it's not like something that insulates you quite as much. Just for a point of reference, merino wool is wonderful if you want to wear something athletic um, just because it does not absorb any odors and it's something that feels so good on your skin where you're allowed to breathe in it and that's the point. And so having this as a turtleneck is a wonderful option and it definitely felt like high quality to me and I've still enjoyed it um, now for quite some time and I just had to throw it in there. Next, for signature accessories, you would not be complete without having a baseball cap in your wardrobe simply because it is one of those more practical pieces that is still classy. So I've got it today in a crew and then I also have it in black. This is actually cotton canvas. So I've had the um, baseball caps from Everlane for quite some time just being you know, regular cotton, but now that it is organic cotton canvas, cotton canvas being one of my favorite materials, um, is excellent. It has a little bit more of a texture to it. Um, it feels more durable. And if it ever like fades at all, I think that that'll just be part of the story. I think it'll wear very well with time. And then for the clasp here, that makes it something that's one size fits all. And they made it this brush metallic, which is just an extra added detail along with the embroidery here. And like I was saying in my last video, I appreciate when I can get a baseball cap without like a huge logo on it or anything. And so having that subtle stitching is exactly what I like. The next timeless accessory is the cashmere rib beanie, something that is just a standard beanie, but something that still feels upgraded. So if you were to, I, I think a good, uh, 
test to see if it's a good timeless piece is if you would give it as a gift. So if you were to give somebody a beanie, you think that they would wear a beanie, of course, um, you would think, okay, so this is something that is a little bit more um, like higher grade. And so they have grade A cashmere and it has a little bit of stretch to it as well with the 1% elastane. So if you're looking for a wonderful beanie to wear this season, then this is a wonderful one. And I have gotten my beanies there uh, before as well. I've always loved Everlane scarves because they have been something that is not too fancy and they're more of a minimal accessory. And so they sent me this one this year. This is the felted merino waffle knit scarf. So what I like about it is that it's long. A lot of people ask me, Bethany, I live in a colder climate. How do you style scarves as a petite? And I do not hold back on having a long, thick scarf. I think that the shorter ones, if they're too thick, that can look a little bit more frumpy but it's one that is really long, just makes that vertical line something I can play with visually. The merino wool in this is extra fine, and then they wash it and they boil it, and then all of that process makes it softer and warmer, as if you would have washed and worn it for years already. And then the waffle knit is lovely too this time of year. I've had the waffle knit beanies before, and they were so incredible. I still own them um, and wear them frequently. And next, a couple of new in pieces I want to share is the tiered mock neck dress. So I've had the tiered dress before that was cotton. I still own that. I have that in the same color, this like burned coconut or toasted coconut color. Um, and I loved it. So I knew that this was going to be a home run as well. This is a mock neck, so it draws the fabric up more. It makes it just sit a little bit nicer, in my opinion. And it's something that then just flows out. This part just drapes a little bit more here where this next tier begins and the sleeves are a lot longer and crisper so it has just a little bit of an academia vibe to it that is wonderful and you guys know I like my short sleeves to be longer too so that's excellent so I have that in this coconut color as well as black and finally, every wardrobe needs a button-down shirt. And so today I have added the organic cotton prep shirt and that's in this tan plaid. So when I saw it on the website, I thought that this would just really be um, very neutral, but it actually has these orange uh, little stripes that run along it, which is lovely. If you just wanted something in there that's a little bit more colorful than what I'm showing today. Um, and the pattern I think was something that was very classic. I don't find that that would go out of style. And the things that were smart about this, I've had plenty of button down tops before from Everlane and they are just wonderful for, ba for basics in general. Um, but I liked that the a lot of pieces of this just laid very flat. Like the collar lays beautifully smart looking and then the sleeves had a lot of interest of their own. So the cuffs gather at the bottom so that you could either wear them at your wrist or you could scooch them up a little bit and that's gonna make the sleeve just sort of cascade down and be excellent for that. Um, so these were just a giant collection of basics that I could highly recommend for building up your wardrobe. I think a lot of times people go straight to the statement pieces or like what catches their eye or trends. And so for this video, I just want to suggest that if you have something missing from your wardrobe that you feel would be much more complete and wearable for every day, then I would start with these. And all of these are my top picks from Everlane for this winter. So if you wanna hear more about basics on my channel, that would really help if you could just give this video a thumbs up. That way I'll know and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.